At 630, the battle between the Chili's, well, it's been heating up for months, as we've been telling you. But Governor Jared Polis says he's always known who the true Chili champion is. Yeah, News 5's Colette Bordelon there today as the governor toured a farm in Pueblo County. Where else? Mm -hmm. And uh, even got a taste test. Huh? I wish I would have gotten that taste test, too. Mm. But you might know which Chili Governor Polis picked. He says at the end of the day, it's all about the people behind the crop. Well, I'll get some. I'll get some sweet potatoes while I'm here. Governor Polis started with some shopping. Yeah. We should grow them in the governor's That's a great office. Idea. Taking some of Muso Farms' favorites back to the capital. These are the uh, big gems. I like just cooking them up with like garlic and salt yeah. and onion, oh, yeah. maybe. Then taking a tour. Are we ready? Of a place Rocky Muso has always known. We've been here for 100 years plus. Roasting the famous chilies and giving them a try. Has excellent flavor lingering in the mouth, really good. Everybody having the awareness that, hey, there's not just hatch, but there's this other chili that's just a little bit better. But the New Mexico hatch chili, nowhere to be seen. It doesn't taste like much. I mean, it just leaves something to be desired. A jab at our neighbors to the south, who the governor says just never show up for the challenge. We're ready anytime, anywhere. Uh, to go up against Hatch Chili. At the end of the day, Polis and Musso agree. It's all about agriculture. The real winner uh, are the taste buds of Colorado families and the men and women who grow chili in our great state and in New Mexico. If you haven't tried it, try it. And a spicy competition. Everybody say chili! Chili! We'll have to wait and see how New Mexico will respond. If you want to pick up your own chilies, you can pick them up at any local farms or even a grocery store. Always watching out for you, Pueblo. Colette, we're on News 5. Colette, thanks.